recipes, I have recipes for you when we're done. The first one is going to be based with all vegetables. Cabbage salad, slaw, right? It doesn't have to just be slaw, okay? What do we put in slaws? Carrots, cabbage, onion, we can put fennel, we can put all sorts of stuff. I just want to show how easy this knife is to use. Really clean, I cut off the core, so this has been quartered already, this cabbage. Took the core off, I'm gonna get rid of that right here. And then, look how easy this is. I can cut, see how thin that is? You can't see? Look up there. Can you see? Oh. How about if I go forward? Yeah? That's the ticket, all right. You guys guide me and we'll make that happen. All right, so I will lean forward. I'm not very tall, but I will lean forward. Okay, so do you see how thin I'm able to make these? What? More? <laughs> Move what? The cabbage more. Okay, so can you see how thin I can make this cabbage? There's three things involved in making this cabbage thin. One, I cut with a knife like this every day. It's a lot of practice. I just tell my cooks, practice makes better, right? All right, so practice, 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 you'll get really good knife skills, but that just takes time. I cut stuff every single day. It also takes a really good, sharp knife, okay? It doesn't have to be fancy. It has to be the good, solid tools that you need in your kitchen. It's not a lot of them. Hi. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut my cabbage. And for the sake of time, I'm gonna talk you through a bunch of stuff. You can put shaped fennel into this. Fennel is one of my favorite ingredients. It's very clean. You can buy it at any grocery store now. Um, you can put some red onion. You can put some pickled onion. You can put some pickles. I have this jar of spicy dill pickles, and they are fantastic in salads, right? They're really good. So albacore season, right? You can put flaked albacore in here if you cook it. All right, here's my carrot. I, again, really nice pieces of carrot, really thin, because one, my knife is sharp, but two, it's a balanced vegetable knife. It's made for all this. See how fast I'm doing this? So there's a really fast construction of a salad that, what takes the longest part of uh, cooking at home? Prep work, right? I know. Takes, that's what takes the longest at the restaurant, too. The difference is, in a restaurant, we're taught how to how to use our knives, how to prep really fast. So this really basic uh, slaw, I've got some shallot. Is that better? He likes that better. Okay, I can't hear like you can. For two reasons, one, I walk under a hood every day so I'm kind of, dull, uh, kind of deaf, but two, I can't hear the, the, the uh, speakers. Okay, so now what I've done here is I took some dill, Dill's delicious. When you have a recipe with too much dill, it's a lot of dill, right? But a little dill is very delicious, and I'm gonna combine it with a little Italian parsley. And again, because this is a great knife for this project, I'm able to cut some really beautiful little pieces with the knife. Okay, so there. Then what I'm gonna do is make my little sloth. My cabbage, right? My carrot and my shallot and my dill, and my parsley, right? What else can I put in here if I want to change it up? If I wanted an entree salad in the summertime, right? Lemongrass. I could put lemongrass. That would give it a really nice flavor. But you want to go with lemongrass, which is a really delicious, delicious flavor. You want to cut it really fine, or else it might be very hard to, uh, to chew, right? OK, this is a feta vinaigrette. I'm going to give you the recipe, just so we can keep rolling on it for the other projects. Feta vinaigrette. You take a blender, right? This is easy prep. Feta, your vinegar, your oil, some lemon zest, you season it, you take the top, put the top on, you turn it on, and your vinaigrette's done. Don't go buy bottled dressings. You can make better dressings, right? Who can make better dressings? Everybody can. Delicious. Okay. I'm going to dress this salad just a little bit, and there you have your slaw. Let's say it's summertime, right? You barbecued chicken last night. This is delicious. A little salad for lunch. Okay. There we go for our first salad. Again, awesome sharp knife.